All right, global climates and biomes. In this series, we're going to talk about the unequal heating of Earth. You know, winemaking, which is quite common, it's actually original to places like Egypt, Greece, Italy, France, Spain, right around in that area. And as European nations began to colonize other parts of the world, they brought with them grapevines. So now today we see winemaking throughout the world. It's um, you know Mediterranean, out in California, South America, um, South Africa, even Australia. And so what is it about these regions that favors the production of these great wines? Well, winemaking is critically dependent upon having the proper growing conditions for the grapes. The conditions, you know, they need to be mild, um, moist winters and hot, dry summers. Um, mild winters are important because temperatures that fall below freezing can damage the actual vine. And extremely hot summer conditions are just basically too stressful for plants. So because wine grapes grow under this narrow range of um, climate conditions. You know, global climate change is a real cause of concern for wine growers. So these regions where the wine grapes grow, um, where the best growing conditions are, are usually situated somewhere between 30 degrees and 50 degrees latitude. Um, they're almost always next to the ocean, and they're typically on the west side of the continents. Uh, these similar geographic positions cause them to have um, air and water currents that produce um, comparable climates, which um, produce a stable climate that the grapes like to go in. So because of this, these regions also contain plants that look quite similar to the grapes. Um, and although the plant species in all these different locations, they're not closely related at all, um, they do have something in common. Um, they are usually pretty drought resistant. Um, they produce a lot of wildflowers and shrubs in those areas too. There was a research study in 2013 by some scientists that evaluated the current conditions um, in California. California has about 90% or so of where all of the U.S., um, where our wine is actually produced. Um, and they predicted that many of these vineyards will have to uh, shift, move to like Oregon or Washington um, by the year 2040 because the ideal conditions for that climate are changing. Um, the wine growing conditions are shifting northward and this is also seen um, in France and um, other parts of the English areas where there are lots of wineries. Uh, people are having to move them. And although this is not a, a tragedy perhaps, but we're gonna lose our oldest alcoholic beverage of wine and winemaking, um, it does illustrate a couple of things. People having to move, um, we're basically having to relocate entire vineyards, um, and it's not really just for the wine grapes. If you can see at the top right hand side, the wine grape um, looks very different than a table grape, and even though they can be similar in species, um, we just grow them differently to get them to look like that. So over here on this side, um, where the, the wine, or I'm sorry, where the, the grape um, vines are grown, if you can see they're like really, really high and kind of close together, that basically um, shields them a lot from, from the sun. This is how we get wine grapes. And over in this picture, this might be a little harder to see, um, they're more spread out, like perhaps they look a little fluffier. Like we've basically taken the grapevine and kind of stretched it out a little bit to make it look a little wider. Um, these oftentimes produce table grapes. The only reason I know this is because when I lived in South Africa, we were driving by a lot of the vineyards and the guy was telling me about what... Um, what grapes to steal. He's like, you don't want to steal the ones where they grow really closely together like this because those are wine grapes and they taste horrible. I mean, look at what they look like when they come out of the vineyard. 
because then you want to steal the ones where um, sometimes they they shade it but they also like spread Mama's them out more looking. like a tree um, they, they look more they look more like they're this shaped um, he said yeah so steal those because those are the good ones those are the table grapes and they grow them side by side so it's hard to tell uh, which which one's a vineyard and which one's a table grape and uh, the things you remember.